What up? I'm Devin on deck, and today we're talking about why Instagram stories polls are pure garbage, and also how you can make your own. I'm cool. Welcome back to Devin on Tech, where I give you how-tos and creative talk. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the new Instagram Stories poll feature, and also tell you why I ain't using it. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I first made a name for myself on Instagram, where I'm known for my very innovative and stylish content. So I dedicate a portion of my YouTube channel to make sure that I give you guys value on the content side of things. Everything from Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, and how to better brand yourself and be more successful in the digital space. So if that sounds good to you, then you are in the right place. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get a notification every time I drop a video. So a couple days ago, Instagram dropped a new feature in which you can put polling stickers on your Instagram stories. In my opinion, bad idea. But first, let me teach you how to use it. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is to update your app, all right? Open up Instagram stories, record any kind of content you want to, photo or video, doesn't matter. Go ahead and hit the stickers icon at the very top, and hit the poll, and you will see the poll come up. Ask any question you want to. As an example, there goes one. And then you can also customize the variables, yes or no, or whatever you want the answers to be. And then just click done, and you can actually place the sticker anywhere you want to. Now, what you notice is these little blue lines come up sometimes. You're gonna see these blue lines. These kind of give you markers about how far or close you are out of the range of tapping. As you know, you can go backwards and forwards in stories to tap forward or back. So you don't wanna to go too close to the edges. It gives you nice little guidelines to let you know how close you are if you're out of bounds. So you can change the size and put it wherever you want to. Just make sure you're careful to keep it within the bounds of the tappage, okay? Boom. Okay, so now you know how to make Instagram posts. Cool. Now here's why I don't mess with it. For one, you only have two choices you can put in there for people to select. What if you're asking a multiple choice question like, what's your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Uh, it's not just two, so you're kind of limited there. Now, if you know some secret special way on how to do this and add more than two choices, please let me know in the comments right now. But as far as I know, that's all you can do. And even then, even if you can solve that, that's not my number one issue. My number one issue, number two on this list, as to why I don't mess with it, is because it takes away the fundamental best part about Instagram stories. For me, okay? Instagram stories is the place on Instagram where you can be a little bit more willy-nilly. In a world where things are curated and perfect, you can be a little bit more loose and casual with your Instagram stories. That is the joy of it because you're just able to connect and communicate with another human being. When you have something so automated and so simple and so dumbed down such as polls, it takes away that opportunity to have a conversation. As y'all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I always answer 99.9% .9 of my comments, 99% of my DMs because I enjoy it. I love y'all. I care about y'all. I wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for y'all. You know I actually give a flip about adding value to each and every one of y'all's lives. And if I use polls instead of the way that I like to do question and ask, then there's no conversation there, okay? Recently, I put up a poll of my own without using polls, and it went a little something like this. Hey, I wanna step up my silver game. Please help me out. I need your help, okay? Then I gave you three options. Boom, boom, boom. Which ones do you like? Let me know, all right? I got about 80 responses, okay? That's probably the most responses I got in my DMs in probably the last three months. And you know why? Because I was able to show you that me, Mr. Fashion Guru dude, is now humbling himself to then ask you your opinion. And if it was a poll, then I couldn't do three choices, A, and B, you wouldn't be able to give me extra things. In those DMs, you know what I saw? Not just one, two, or three, but hey, Here's some suggestions of what kind of jewelry you should buy. Hey, here's why I think a certain number is what a certain number is. And some of y'all even told me, hey, did you know Instagram polls was out? Yeah, I knew it was out, but I did not want to rob us the opportunity to converse as people, all right? You do not build a community by putting a little thing you just tap. That takes no effort, it's lazy, and it doesn't let us be able to talk. Social media, not just media, social. We gotta be social, all right? And that's it, and that's why I don't mess with it. And I'ma leave it right there, okay? 
if you enjoyed this video at all and or agree with me or didn't agree with me, go ahead and leave some responses in the comments. I dare you to argue why Instagram polls are tight and why we should be using them. Let me know why they're dope. I'd love to hear it from you. And regardless, give your man a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.